Welcome back to the Slick Show. I'm Johnny Slicks. You guys know the saying, never say never. You know, never say never. It sounds so simple, so elementary that it seems like it's not really, it doesn't, that doesn't apply here. It seems too simple. We need it to be complicated, right? I want you guys to imagine this. When you were in middle school, elementary school, high school, whatever school you went to and you had art class, we all had art class. You know when you were making that little pottery thing that you brought home from mom and dad? I want you to imagine your past self. All of the things that you have done in your past are a piece of clay that have gone through the kiln, that have gone and gotten cooked. It is a solid form, and if you try to remold it, it will shatter, it will break, it won't be true. Then you have your future self that's just a big ball of clay. You can do whatever you want. If you can envision it, you can mold it, you can make that however you want. Now, here's where the word never is almost detrimental to your future self. If I were to say, I will never eat fish, right? I say that. Essentially, I just molded and put a little piece of my future self in the kiln already and brought it back. So now a situation occurs, I'm on vacation in Costa Rica and a fish plate gets brought in front of me. Now I can look at that as either a problem or an opportunity to try something new. But remember two years ago when I said I'll never try fish, so now when this fish plate shows up in front of me, I'm already saying no to it because I already spoke for my future self. Right now, if I were to tell you, I'll never leave my job, I'm never gonna leave my job, and I speak that to people, now all of a sudden, I'm getting harassed at work, I'm not making enough money, I'm not being respected, I'm not being challenged, but I told myself I would never leave this job. So now I essentially am stuck here or I go back on my word. Never say never. Don't ever speak for your future self because you never know what your future self's environment is gonna look like. In two years at Costa Rica, if I got that fish plate, what happens if I changed my mind? What happens if the environment all around me is different? What if I didn't see that when I spoke it into existence, when I said, I'll never eat fish. I never, I didn't imagine myself in Costa Rica having an awesome time and trying a little bit of fish. I said, I never will. Never say never, seems so simple, but aren't the best things simple? Don't overcomplicate it, don't say never. Leave your future self to be molded by the environment that your future self is in. Leave your past self where your past self is. Ain't no reason to go back there and try to reshape or re redo anything there. It's already, it's already been through the kiln, just use it. Hey, that time I made the vase and I put it through the kiln and it melted sideways because the top was a little too heavy, Nothing you could do about that now, but learn. Learn from that situation, apply it to now, reshape your future self, never say never. That was a lot of things. I hope you learned something from it. Please leave me a comment below. Uh, man, if you have said never to something and that situation has happened, please let me know what it was. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay slick.